Today begins the spookiest week in channel history. What is up, everybody? We are back, and this week we are starting officially Spooky Week. And you're probably not even wondering what that means because Halloween is coming up this Thursday. So I decided this Sunday through Thursday, when Halloween hits, we're going to be doing spooky openings. And to start off this week, we have a Ghost from the Past 2 versus a Ghost from the Past 1 opening. So we have potential at spooky ghost rares like the Dark Magician, the Dark Magician Girl, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Arm Dragon, and many, many more. And there will be many, many more cool openings to come. We're starting it off a little bit, you know, newer, newish, 2021, 2022. We're gonna be opening some older packs as we go. And I also bought some special products for the week as well including a potential Halloween outfit for Thursday you may have seen on Twitter. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Quarter Century Rare Blue Eyes, which funny story of how I got this. So the other day on Whatnot, we had a big stream. I had a bunch of signed cards that I was shipping. I had actually ran out of one of the God cards. I can't remember which one it was. So I opened up a few of these promo packs that I have. Some were from the 25th anniversary, some were from 17, some might've been earlier. At some point when we opened, I think it was the Rhyme video when we opened a bunch of legendary collections. Well, funny enough, one of the God cards, the Winged Dragon of Raw actually had no name. I literally opened this off. I don't open stuff off camera because I open so many packs on camera. I'm like, it's just like great content. Like why would I waste the content opening it off camera? The one time I do it, I pull a no name Winged Dragon of Raw, no imprint either. So literally, a no-name Winged Dragon of Raw, which is absolutely awesome. So I had to show that on video because I didn't get to I didn't get to show the pull on video because I didn't even notice it when I pulled it. I put it in like a box and then I grabbed that box later and I was like, wait a second, this has no name. So a pretty spooky way to start Spooky Week. Let's get into the opening. So because Ghost from the Past actually only has three packs per five card box, we're gonna add another one, so they have six. So they have a total of 18 packs versus 20 packs. So they still have a disadvantage, but uh, if they pull Dark Magician, it's the most expensive Ghost Rare there is in these two sets, so they could win there. Put your votes in the comments, who will win? All right, let's begin Spooky Week with Ghost from the Past 1. And actually, no, they have, they have less packs, so we should start with Ghost from the Past 2. There are gonna be some fun openings that I have cooked up for this week. There's gonna be some fun times when I dress up as a potential Yu-Gi-Oh character. That's gonna be interesting. I think it should be a pretty fun week. Just a little bit of, you know, it's not necessarily like a 250K special or anything. Don't get don't get ahead of yourselves or anything like that, but it's gonna be a fun thematic week that I think you guys will enjoy. And I would really like to pull a ghost out of here. It's been a while since we've pulled one for myself. So here we go. Oh, it's also freezing in this room. So I'm very cold. Maybe it's cause there's a ghost rare. Maybe it's because there's a haunted, scary ghost in here somewhere. Okay, starting it off, not too crazy. Oh, wait, I should probably open two of these so then we can alternate or something. You know, maybe we'll go one at a time, actually. You know what? I'm going to leave that. We'll go one at a time. We'll have the scores on the screen so you'll be able to see what Ghost from the Past 2 has done and what Ghost from the Past 1 has done. The funny part is both these sets are pretty terrible to open in terms of value unless you pull something crazy. Why is this thing not want to focus? Just fo Every time I pull a card... What are you doing, camera? This is doing this on Whatnot too. And the weird part is, I wonder if it's the mat. The weird part is Whatnot is using a different app. So I don't know why it's doing this. There's something about the new iPhone 16. I don't know what it is, but it does some crazy stuff with the camera. Like it'll be, you'll click on it and then it just like moves the whole camera. It's really weird. Uh, it definitely seems a little bit glitchy. I don't know if that's the right word. It doesn't feel that good compared to my 14 that I had before. I should have just stuck with that one. I mean, it looks really good when it actually focuses, but I mean, it's just really weird right now. So, okay, goes from the past two. Oh, what I was saying before it started being weird about the focus is these sets are terrible for value if you don't get the ghost shirts. Like there's not a lot of like, you know, couple dollar cards in here. Like most of them are like zero or they're a ghost rare. <laughs> that's basically it. So I, I could be wrong about some, maybe they've aged a little better, but in the past openings we've done, there hasn't been a lot of value in here. Okay, three packs here. So, I mean, if any of these have the Ghost Rare Dark Magician, we, I mean, I think that fight, or the fight, the battle will probably be over at that point uh, because Dark Magician is still, I think, around like 500 bucks if it's near mint. These are like really warped. Uh, we have Starry Knight, Salvage, Time Thief, and Time Thief Retrograde. Okay, just an Ultra Rare, not too crazy. All right, let's see. Next two from the back. Wait, oh, wait, this is Ghost from the Past 1. I shouldn't have done that, so it'll be here. Yeah, because Ghost from the Past 1 does not have a pack trick. I got to remember that. 
Last pack. So I think at this point we have pulled zero. There is a legitimate chance we could go through here with like $2 on each. Like it could, that could be this battle. Hopefully not though. We'll get lucky and we'll pull something crazy is what I'm hoping for. Gear Town. Hieratic Seal. Hieratic Dragon. Time Thief Double Barrel. Okay, so off to a blazing start uh, for <laughs> for Spooky Week. We uh, might be a little spooky how bad the value is in these. Uh, these are a lot. These are a lot more all or nothing in terms of sets because a, lo a lot of the sets recently haven't really been like that. We've, you know, with the core sets, there's usually at least something in there. Uh, the side sets is where it can happen. It's kind of like Terminal Revenge, uh, ex if Terminal Revenge didn't have a U Bell. Uh, that's kind of how that would be uh, because. So far, not a crazy amount. You know what I should probably do is make these even have Ghost of the Past have two more packs. I could just add two more packs for Ghost of the Past. This used to be a, a dollar card, but I don't think it is anymore. And the thing is, a lot of these side sets, they don't hold up super well in terms of value because what happens is there are a lot of great reprints in the sets, or in this case, they're not that many great reprints. Then there's like a rarity collection or a bonanza that reprints them again. And then these versions become like zero dollars. So any value that was once there gets crushed by another reprint set that comes out. So that's kind of the problem with reprint sets aging. That's kind of the good side though of this set because the ghost rares are not really getting reprinted. So those are not gonna like get like destroyed in value constantly. Uh, by another version or another ghost rare just coming out. So in a way, it's kind of good that this was so high end because anyway, I mean, all the reprints were going to go down anyway, for the most part, for the short term. I mean, maybe in the long term, they will keep going up. But the thing is, these were kind of bad sets in terms of like staples anyway. So those didn't really do that well at the beginning to start with. OK, to make it actually even in 20 versus 20 packs, I did grab two more Ghosts in the Past, too. So we're going to open up these. And then we should be, you know, on equal footing by the end. So no pack trick here. These are very warped. I would not mind having a warped dark magician. I could definitely handle that. Uh, we're going to need this mage you uh, to send us a little luck. You know, scared me. He sent us a little luck. By the way, these are a whatnot exclusive mat. So if you do want to grab some or grab one for yourself, we do have quantity available right now. There is a limited quantity, though. So once they are sold, they are gone. So you can go check that out on the whatnot link down below. New user, you get $15 off. It becomes a $10 mat. So great deal. And then you can afford to look at my scared face every day on your mat. Okay, so we're at 15 Ghosts in the Past 1 versus 12 on two so let's go back to one i don't know why they went that three and four it just makes it hard to do these battles konami okay i know you're really thinking about my content when you make these so uh can you please keep doing that oh i forgot to uh cut this can i rip it maybe maybe yeah it's not ripping but it is opening this is ghostly week spooky week all right and uh if you guys haven't yet seen the 250k videos speaking of weeks 250k week we have a lot of great videos over there go check them out uh, i know we are past 250k now but don't miss the videos don't miss the celebration it was super fun we're making our way up to 300 now and we're gonna have to figure out what exactly that means like uh yeah we're gonna what, what are we gonna do at 300 I, it's gonna be gonna be a lot i think so we're gonna have to figure that out as we go Okay, goes from the past. So far, we literally have zero good bulls. <laughs> Cosmo 10 again. This is a way to start. I did buy some product though that I'm super excited about. We have opened before. I noticed when I looked up the product that I had made a video before, and it was like several years ago. And there's gonna be cool cards in there, guaranteed. And it's maybe related to one of the most popular formats of sets these days. So keep an eye out coming up this week. There's also going to be another. And then we duel with rhyme style involving a little spookiness as well. So keep an eye out for that. I'm super excited. Hopefully we will get that out on time, you know, uh, trying to get the schedules to line up. But I think it will be fine. I think it's going to work out. I'm very excited. I'm very excited because those uh, those are really fun. And they're also seems to be a fan favorite at the moment of on the channel. And uh, the set we're opening is super fun, too. So I think I think it should be pretty awesome. Two from the back. Let's go. We got the chorus, Math Mech Edition, Tinny Spirit, Odd Eyes Rebellion, Dragon Overlord. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Ghost of the Past 2. Can you finally give us a good card? Uh, this might be the most Ghost from the Past opening ever. Just pulling nothing. You know, just literally nothing. Just completely whiffing. Getting zero good cards in terms of value. Because, you know, there are good cards in here. They just might just be reprinted. In terms of, like... Specific, you know, if they're specific to decks and stuff, they're not bad. Like, this is a good card. It's a good card, not expensive. The back sea is pretty decent. Even the version we had that we invested in is super cheap now. So I think it I think it might have been in one of the rarities. I can't remember. Fist, there's been so many cards reprinted in rarity slash bonanza already. 
Number, number 97 used to be big money, and that got a reprint in there. It's hard to keep up with what is still expensive, what has been reprinted, you know, in rarity seven times or whatever. Though, I will say, Bonanza's coming up next week. If you guys have not used the affiliate link with Sassy Auto, go check it out. Get 5% off uh, your order. The set looks insane. It looks amazing. The side set, like the nostalgia set that we've talked about, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, basically Bonanza is basically Rarity 3. So Rarity Collection 3, it'll have 567 cards or whatever in all the seven rarities. But they also added 200 extra cards in a nostalgia side set that come only in Platinum and QCR. So kind of crazy. And they've announced a bunch of those cards already. And they're like all Edison and Goat cards. Like they're insane. Like they look really, really awesome. Really, really fun. So the set is going to be an absolute blast. There are going to be so many GOAT QCRs and all this awesome stuff that we are going to love. So I'm super excited for the set. It comes out like next week. So we're going to be doing a bunch of content for that, obviously. So keep an eye out for that coming up, guys. If you guys have not yet gotten your cases or boxes, Sassy Auto has a good deal for you. He's a reliable seller. You can get 5% off using my link. It's an affiliate with me, so it supports the channel. So it's a win, 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 as Michael Scott would say. Two front, no, not two from the back. We still have not pulled a good card, by the way. And, and in those sets, you will pull a good card. You're not going to pull zero good cards like Ghosts from the Past. Okay, let's open one more Ghost from the Past. One, because we still have nine more of these and eight more uh, packs of these. And then eight more to Ghosts from the Past, too. This is a brutal opening. But all you need with this set is one Ghost Rare. So really, it's not too bad just yet. Let's see what we can do. Three packs. Okay, ultra rare. I don't know what this, uh, this camera is weird. I don't know what is going on. That used to be a money card. I think it's still over a dollar. That might be our first point of the day. <laughs> that legitimately could be the first dollar of the day, which is pretty wild. Pretty wild. Okay. Uh, Madolce Chateau. What? I keep thinking these are not in focus because I can't see because it's a stupid screen protector. I got to get rid of it at some point um, so I can actually see what I'm doing. But it's it's in focus. So then I tap tap on the screen. Then it goes crazy and it's not in focus. I'm just not going to touch anything. I'm not going to touch anything, guys. I think we've at least scored a point. And by a point, I mean a dollar of something. Uh, we have vampire. Wow, this is this is crazy. It's not crazy, though, because it goes from the past. So it's really like just kind of normal, honestly, which is the sad part. And that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh sets age, you know? It's like, it becomes all or nothing, high end or not, you know? The fun part about opening new stuff is so much of it has value because a lot of it's untested, or it hasn't been had a reprint yet, and a lot of different things uh, are going for it. And then in the middle ground of a few years old, it's kind of like, eh, it kind of goes to like a bad spot. And then later it could come back up. So Yazi is a great card, but I don't know if that's money or not. Age of Life Neptune. The score is on the screen. There hasn't been a lot of updates in terms of the score, but uh, yeah, Despot 001, Master Hyperion, Vampire Grace, and DDD Vice King Requiem. No pendulums, please. First day of Halloween spooky week. Definitely been spooky in terms of the pulls. Uh, and by spooky, I mean spooky bad. Uh, keep an eye out for the next few days, though. They're going to be fun. And they're, the pulls, I mean, they can't, they literally can't be worse. So we started at the bottom. Perfect. It can only go up from here. Can only go up from here. Rare fish. Plunder. Flint cracker. Rookie warrior lady. And Christian Aquavibrax, which is now bit. All right. Three more mini boxes. That's it. Three more mini boxes. And then we are officially done with today's video but we're not done for a spooky week and i am really excited for the other videos coming up i will say i think this is probably the second from the bottom in terms of excitement and i do like ghost of the past so so i think i may maybe the bottom because like i i think that i like the other video better in terms of like what we're gonna open because a little bit older more nostalgic um but it just depends on who you are so Look forward to the other videos coming up. They are really excited. There's one I'm particularly excited about, the one I've mentioned a couple of times. I'm particularly excited about it, and it does involve ghost rares as well. It's going to be fun. It's going to be super fun. I cannot wait. I'm having fun already. Time Thief Adjuster used to be money. I don't know if it still is. That could be uh, could be another dollar toward the ghost. Ghost from the past. I doubt it, though. I honestly doubt it with how this is going. Man, this has been brutal. Madolche. Gear Town, Metafalls. We're opening 40 packs today. To get 40 packs, to get zero. Could be rough. Let's open um, Ghost from the Past, too. 
or yeah, it goes from the past two, then one more. I don't remember which one I'm opening. They open differently. One's on the side, one's on the front. And if you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you guys know we're making our way to 300K. Making our way to 300K. That doesn't really work. Okay, Despian Tragedy, Despian Comedy. Those were pretty good for the reprint. Neos Kluger, Chimera Tech. I mean, just decent cards out there. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Ghost Rare would be really good. Not as expensive as the Dark Magician because they're a little bit easier to pull out of here. I, you say, I mean, I say that, but they are still really hard because you can get full cases with nothing. And that's like, it's kind of random. Like you could hit that crazy case with like seven. Well, a lot of them feels like they're just like, you know, not so good. Yazi, we have Domain. Because if you do get seven Ghost Rares, it kind of works out. You know, you get pretty decent value. But if you don't, you get zero or one or even two. It's really... Not that good. Uh, track Black. This is the last pack for Ghost of the Past 2. I don't think they pulled one good card. I don't think there was a single good card in Ghost of the Past 2 there. That's pretty brutal. Leaving us with one more. Ghost from the Past who can take the crown. They might take the crown with $1. They legitimately might take the crown with $1. Which, I hate to say it, not that surprised. Because the only way, really, for them to go off is like pulling a Ghost Rare. And those are, you know, pretty random. Okay, two Dark Magician packs. That's a good sign. Two Dark Magician packs and a BLS pack. I wouldn't mind a BLS because I don't think I actually have that in my Ghost Finder somehow. <laughs> so it'd be a good one to add. It's either that one or Chris, Crystal Wing. I can't remember which one I don't have. I know I need to update the, the binder, guys. I know some of you guys have told me update the binder. I don't really have that many updates. There are several, but it's not a ton. So it's like I should do it just for like a timestamp. So we know like back then that's like what I had. OK, two packs left. Come on, guys. Send me a little luck. Hell should all hollow. I've been using that in the Shadal structure loner. The Shadal loner deck, I should say. It's not a structure. Uh, on Master Duel for the dual triangle event. Don't really use that one that much. It's not great, but uh, I've been doing pretty good with the deck. You know, we, we basically be, did like beat the event, got all the gems except for like 10. It was like there was an extra missions they added. And it was like win 10 duels and you got 10 gems. I was like, nah, I'll just win seven and get most of them. Okay, Armagram, we have emergency to... That got a good rarity reprint. I bet it's not any money. I was about to say, that's one of our best cards here. Is that a normal? This is the last card. This is a normal monster. If this is Dark Magician, this would be one heck of a, a way to end this video. Start off Halloween slash spooky week. Ah, oh, Sunsea Genius! What a way to troll us for a second. I got my hopes up. I'm like, there's not that many normals in here. Or vanilla, as you could say. But um, not a great opening this time, but that only means the rest of the week can go up from here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed the video. Go check out works 34com or go on over to Whatnot and pick up your Magia mat. Shout out to Tom Fosho, Ernesto Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.